Hello everybody, uh, it's just me, we're doing another benchmark test video, and apparently we can get 120 frames in these openings intro screens. Um, and we can get like 95 frames in this cutscene, or like almost 100, which is weird, um, but that's cool. And now we're back down to a realistic frame rate, 46. Um, but hey, what's up, uh, I'm Joseph, and we're doing another benchmark test. I already said that, I already did the introduction, I don't know why. I kind of wanted to, I felt the need to, like, describe what the channel is about for a second, why you should subscribe, uh, but you guys should totally subscribe, because we got a lot more content like this coming up soon. Alright, so my settings are about, like, in between mid and high, resolution 720, 720p. Uh, I have anti-aliasing off for some reason, I'm just going to leave it off uh, to get the best performance out of, like, currently, just for people who are playing on an extremely low end PC. And so, anti-aliasing off, my display frequency is 60 Hz, uh, texture resolution high, V-Sync off, frame rate variable, there's also a 60 FPS cap thing, but we're going to keep it at variable, and then shadow quality off, because shadow quality really affects, like, frame rates and stuff, and we don't really need it, the game looks fine without them. And then quality, just in general, screen quality high. Um, so we're going to start playing, we're going to play a game. Is there any way to do, like, a new game? Like, completely start over? I don't think so. And, so we're gonna do a benchmark test of Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition, I guess. And we're gonna do Nero and Dante. Uh, we are going to do Devil Hunter difficulty in Stage 1. Alright, confirm. Uh, do I want... Is that... They're, oh, it's just costumes, okay. Alright, let's get into it. And the game itself runs pretty decent too, and I just can't get over the fact we can get a hun over 100 frames in the loading screens for some odd reason. Um, but we're gonna skip the cutscenes because we don't really care about that in this series. We're just gonna be we're just gonna be testing the game. We're gonna be testing the game, and th I really think this game should be brought to the Switch. They have one, two, and three. It only makes sense that they bring four as well. And, to be honest, I think Capcom, if they hired someone like Panic Button, they could easily port Devil May Cry 5 to Twitch, I bet. It would look very- it wouldn't look that great, but it would still be a good port, I bet, if they got someone who has already ported pretty big games to the Switch before, like Panic Button or something. Like, they, they need to, like, send it off and give the people some money to port the game to the Switch. We're getting 30 frames per second. Uh, 40 even. Uh, and there was a frame rate drop earlier though. And we're fighting Dante for some weird reason. I don't really know anything about the story of Devil May Cry 4. Um, Devil May DMC Devil May Cry was like a complete retelling of the first game, or just like a complete retelling of the series in general. And I'm kind of glad they went back to Devil May Cry 5 after DMC Devil May Cry, because I don't know if DMC Devil May Cry did well, like sales wise or reviews wise. Reviews wise. I could easily look it up, but uh, I'll probably look it up later today. I I just curious to see how it did because it's it kind of feels like like Dante like I think he like acts the same way. I don't really care for the redesign, but like I felt like I feel like if they kept his old design and like kept all the characters kept their designs the same as they used to be, then I feel like it would have been more accepted and just call it DMC Devil May Cry and just have it be like a a retelling of the first game for a new era. Now we got Nero, or whatever his name is. He punches Dante, and Dante flies away. Uh, but we don't care about that, because as you already saw, cutscenes run pretty damn perfectly at a high frame rate. Uh, but we're gonna... We got a Devil Hunter rank B. We're gonna go into the next stage, and we're gonna kick its ass. We're probably gonna go for about 20 minutes in this episode, because I, I, wanna, I wanna crank out one more of these today. Just some, just some benchmark test goodness. I don't know what game I'm probably gonna do next, cause like I, I can, I can't really show you guys my Steam library because I don't really have a way to record. Well, I guess I could use OBS, which I have installed on my computer. I just never use it because it uses a lot of my computer's resources, and I could barely play a game at a high frame, at a good enough frame rate to play, because OBS is so demanding. By the way, I'm, I'm just using the Windows 10 game bar to record this. And I'm recording at 60. I don't know if the the video will end up coming out at 60 because the game bar is weird. 
but I am recording at 60 just so you guys know. So that does affect performance when you record, obviously. So if you're not recording while playing this game on a low PC like mine, uh, you will expect to get better frame rates than this. We're getting almost 40. We're getting about 30 to 35. Uh, or 30 to 40, mostly. And there's some definitely some stuttering here and there uh, with it. For sure. But seemingly, it runs pretty darn good. I feel like there's motion blur on that. You should be able to turn off, but I don't actually know if it's motion blur or not. It just seems like it. Um, I don't really know much about the Devil May Cry series. All I know is that I'm, I've beaten like 60 to 70% of the story in the first game. Because I play it off and on on the Switch. But I've, I haven't beaten it yet. I really, I, I'm gonna beat DMC Devil May Cry. Because honestly, out of, I've never played uh, Devil May Cry 5. Other than the fact that I played the demo on PS4 for about 15 minutes. Actually, no, you know, I have a video, I have a, I have a, I have a video of the demo of me playing the Devil May Cry 5 demo on the channel, actually, because a long, a wall, a long time ago, I did a bunch of, a bunch of PS4 capture videos using, like, the built-in PS4 game capture on a friend's PS4, um, and I did a video of the demo of D DMC5, so I, 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 I have played that. However long that video is, that's how long I've played DMC5, or at least the demo. And D I played a little bit of DMC2, a little bit of DMC3, and obviously most of DMC1. I have those three on Switch. And I've played about an hour of DMC Devil May Cry. The the reboot or remake or whatever. I, and basically, how, how much I've played of that is already on the channel, because I did like an hour long video of it. Uh, just a gameplay, PC gameplay video uh, with no commentary. I'll probably, I'll definitely be doing a benchmark test video of that in this series. Um, and I'll probably buy the Devil May Cry HD trilogy uh, on my laptop. And I will, next time it goes on sale for like $20, because usually it only goes on sale for like $10 cheaper. Uh, but I'll definitely get that, and I will buy it, and I will play it, and it'll be fun, and it'll be super cool and fun. And we'll do a benchmark test, probably like one benchmark test for all three games uh, in one video. But we're almost getting 60 FPS in this uh, in this room, where it looks like it's locked at like a solid... Oh, never mind. I was going to say it's locked at 52, but it's going up to 54 and down to 51, I guess. Um, let's keep going. I guess we can finish off this little mini cutscene. Just to see that it runs pretty darn seamlessly. Albeit not at 60 FPS. Okay, where do we go now? Uh, wait, is that where we came from? Yeah, that's where we came from. Okay. So I assume I can just jump down or I go this way. No, I go this way. Sweet, bro. Oh my gosh, it's a it's a thing that I want. I definitely want that thing. Okay, can I go out the front door, or is it is that too easy? That's too easy, I guess. Uh, what is this thingy? What does this do? I'm not quite sure uh, what this does. Give me the red orbies. I want them. I want the red orbs. Give them to me this is a m machina man evil legacy uh freaking cool what does that do what does that what does that do i don't know what button i don't know what that does i'm holding down the left trigger and i'm not quite sh sure what it does Oh, okay, so I have a. I also have a punch button. I didn't see that before. Where to? You know what? I assume what I have to do is I go back up here. And I go back out this door. And then I just jump down here. Or, or I guess not, maybe. Maybe that's not what I do. So I need to go back in here again. Let's go, Nero. Or Nero, or whatever. Okay, so wait, do I need to go here again? Because this is, like, glowing now. Uh... What now? Oh, we shoot it. We shoot it. Oh, never mind. We use our arm thing. We, we, we... 
we lock on with the right bumper right thingy the, the right the right trigger it's not the trigger it's just R not R2 and you lock on with that and then you press the A button or technically the B button on the Xbox controller to launch yourself upwards with your giant arm that you definitely don't use to jerk off with at all. Bro, you know Nair will be jerking off with his giant arm. You know that's exactly what he does. It's the only thing he does with his ginormous arm is just completely jack it. Just completely. To completion. Alright, I'm going through this door. I don't care about the red orb. It can suck a nut. Okay, so now we're here, and now I can launch myself over here. Launch me! And now where do we go? What does this thing do? Are they gonna, oh, secret mission? Destroy all the demons within the time limit. Holy crap, don't mind if I freaking do. Bro, I love destroying demons, except I don't think I'm gonna get them within the time limit. Cause I'm a weak mother fricker. Bang, 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 bang. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Hiya. Get nade. Okay, this is completely off topic, but I have to talk about it. Hot Shot Racing on the Nintendo Switch and PS4 is getting a frickin' physical, and I'm so excited, but yet again, I am kind of irritated because I do have it digitally. And I would prefer it. Ha I would have preferred if it had gotten a physical release, like right off the bat. Um, but it's getting digital. So, I mean, it was digital at first, and now it's getting physical. I hope it has the, all the updates on it with like the free DLC already on the cartridge. That would be awesome. Damn, bro, you're telling me I can just one shot these dudes with my arm? Bro, epic. I have 10 seconds to destroy this man. I did it. I have done it. It's amazing. Let's go get that uh, secret thingy. Blue Orb Fragment. Clear! I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll, I'll, I will absolutely take that as a win. And then we're going to launch over there. Cutscene. Oh, 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 snap. You fools! Get out of my face! I'm about to die. I'm low on health. Damn! Launch him at the ground. Open sesame. So yeah, we're getting pretty solid frame rates. Anywhere, anywhere between 30 and 50 frames, we're getting it. And it's it's pretty decent. And it's running pretty smooth, though. I haven't seen any like hiccups or stutters in a while. It, there was a couple right at the beginning, but that was it. Alright, let's get this guy, and then let's nay no, nay no, him in the face! Alright, and then grab him, and then bang! See, like, even in the, these combat areas, there'll probably be areas that are a little bit more demanding later in the game, but I'm in the beginning of the game, so I don't know if that's true or not. Alright, let's take this man out. Bam! See, I, li I like the combat in this game with the arm and shit. It's fun. Super duper fun. Going in the door. Going in the door. Oh. Am I supposed to jump down there? Yes, I am. Sweet. We're in the back alleys. Damn! Got he. Holy shoot, man. I'm getting so many red orbs. What is this thing? I destroy it to get more red orbs? Holy, holy snap, dude. Damn, that's a lot of red orbs. Uh, and I can get even more if I destroy these pots and stuff. I like all the destructible pots and crates and all that shit. Those are fun. Get over here. Smack them into booty. And then I will grab you and kill you. There we go. See, this is this is fun. I like this. And now we're on the roof. What is up here? Oh my gosh, we got a blue orb fragment. That's pretty sweet. Alright. Hopping down there. 
Can I destroy that? Yes, I can. Um, what else? Nothing over here? Okay. See, like, I bet if I lowered a bunch of the settings, I could get 60 FPS, I bet. I bet I could easily get 60 if I lowered a bunch of settings. And put everything on, like, super-duper low-end potato PC settings. I bet I could get 60. Like, a locked 60. Um... Bum, 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 bum. Oh, yeah, also, I turned on... Uh, before I turned on... I had shadows turned on. Because I tested it before I actually started recording this. I had shadows turned on. And I had multi-sampling, or not multi, uh, it's something like that, and then it's just anti-aliasing, basically. I had anti-aliasing to times four, and it actually ran at, like, what, t less than 30, like 20 FPS or something. And we're getting 60 right now, that's pretty cool. We're getting 60 FPS. Alright, let's take these frickers out. Bam! BAM! Grab him and then smack him down like his smack on that ass. Grab his ass and then just freaking shoot him until he's done. And then you are gonna get shot and grabbed. There we go. See this is this is this is what you call fun right here. This is what you call freaking fun. Uh I wanna get this red orb, thank you. And what does this thing do? This mechanism is acted by your sword's energy. A barrage of attack should work. Damn. I'm, I'm giving it a barrage of attacks. And the door unlocks. Cool. Jump and then jump and then go in the door. We're getting some pretty good frame rates right here. Well, it's, it's been consistent like the entire episode so far. Oh, what do you get? What are you doing, Nero? Uh, what's it going on? Ooh, dude, we're getting under 40 frames. Holy shoot, that's not accurate to what it's been. Now we're getting 40. All right, so now I guess we can go back. Now where do we go? Now what do I do? What to do, what to do? Do I go out the door again? I've actually, I actually have no clue where I'm supposed to go. Oh, well I guess there's enemies here, so I'm close. Just fucking grab them until they explode. The combat's fun. Okay, where to next? Grab him, smack him down. Smack on that ass. Dead for you. And then I assume I go back down here. And then jumpy jump. Alright. What next? Where do I go now? These enemies will tell me. Wherever the enemies are, that's where you freaking go. That's just how games work. God, my legs freaking hurt. I'm literally playing with one hand on the controller, just mashing attack buttons while I fix my leg position because I've been working out a lot recently and my body feels like goddamn jello. My body is in so much pain and it feels like jello if jello could feel pain. God, my legs hurt and my arms, everything hurts. I haven't mentioned that all episode because it wasn't bothering me until now. At least not as bad, because I was sitting crisscross applesauce for like the past two hours. And it hurts. My legs are like, are like, invis my legs are in actual, like, incredible pain right now. Alright, so we beat that. Um, where do we go now? This is where we came from, right? I think. I could be wrong. No, this is not where we came from. We're going in the right direction. Yes, we are. Okay, where to? Uh, red orbs, thank you. What the frick does that mean?
How do I get up there? I can only jump on the wall once. This is strange. This is very strange. I don't know what to do. Do I shoot those? Not quite sure. Uh, but anyways, this was a fun little benchmark test. And I hope if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. Comment down below. If you guys have got anything to say, I'll read and respond to those if need be. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe because it really does help out a lot. And without further ado, uh, I will see you guys all next time. See you then. Peace.